everybody. I'm Kit Kiaria and once again, and she has reminded me that we do this every single year. So this is like an anniversary shoot. Yeah. Stephanie Mwaura. Hi. Fitness by Stephanie. Yeah. Hey, show her. What's it? Call me Mufasa. Yes. Mufasa. She's the one who has got it. Do you see this definition here? This is Stephanie. Cute <laughs> ladies can have guns. Yeah. This is it. Stephanie has been my trainer for four months? Yes. Three months. Three four months. Four months. Four. Because remember I went to... Ah, uh, yes. Three. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so for four months, I called her. I've been losing a lot of weight and I was loose. Yes. <laughs> You are soft. I was soft. Now you're strong. And I wanted to be strong. I yeah. wanted to be what people call to toned. I wanted strong. to be toned, toned, yes, and strong. Yeah. Yeah. So I called her up, and she was like, "Ah, okay. What do you want to achieve? What do you?" Um, and she knows the kinds of exercises I do. We went through my nutrition. And, yes. Um, and she guided me, and now I'm strong. Yes, you are. And getting stronger by the day. Oh, yes. Hey. You can only get better from here. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. You guys are like, hey, kid, body, body. Please. Tell Stephanie. Hi, Stephanie. Tell Stephanie. <laughs> yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, yes. And we don't look like men. We no. We look like men here. No, no, no. no. We are not men. Yes, yeah. we cannot. So today, after that very long introduction, yeah. we are speaking about shareholders which is speaking about weight loss and the effect it has on us mentally the effect it has on our family mentally our friends yeah that stuff that people don't really tap into don't know yeah i didn't know most of us are not aware of it until it actually hits us you're in the thick of it i was blindsided yeah i have to say yeah so if you like this type of content please like please subscribe and let's get into it I was not ready, I was not prepared for how my family, my friends, people on Instagram would react yeah. to my weight loss. And even though a lot of it was positive, a lot of it was very hard. Yeah. Very difficult. Most of us don't know the emotional and so social. Yeah, social. The social impact that comes after that so there's the physical result that we see outward yeah but uh, there's the person that you are when you are either overweight or underweight yes and now this person has changed and like you, like you like your mentality or what so your mentality will shift because you've had to change yeah. so many things yeah. about you so let's let's just go through first the the process of weight loss weight yes. loss is not a, a today tomorrow no journey it's no. not a destination mm -mm. Uh, it's a process and it's very long mm -hmm. and it, it's it's a curve. It's like a graph down that goes up, down, up, down. So it changes a lot, especially mm -hmm. for women, because there are so many factors that contribute to how well or how successfully you lose weight. And the hardest phase is maintaining the weight. Now you've lost the weight. How do you maintain what? That's right. You, you have, have to achieved. change. You have to change your uh, your mindset about discipline, about consistency, about all these things. Yes. You even change how you see yourself in the mirror mm. as you sit there and look mm. at you and get ready and you're like, who's this person? Yeah. Because even as it's a gradual uh, change and you might not see it every day, you might yes. not notice the difference every day, yes. there's one day that it will hit you that you do it, not look the same. What? Like, yeah. There's one day that it will be like black and white and you're like, like wait. wait. And then it will hit you yes. that, hi, yeah, it's been one year I've been yes. on this journey. Yes. So it's a process. And the process is is heavy with different changes that you make in your life mm. number one you make a difference in how you eat you, you might not change everything like yeah. a full overhaul yes but you change the quality of your food yeah you change how you prepare yes. your food yes, yes and you know food is very emotional and social sis yes so we socialize and we are food. going out and then our you you all we are ordering pizza exactly. whatever and we're not binging the way we used to binge before yes. you guys are like are you judging us yeah well, it's got yes. nothing to do with you yes and then there's also people will stop inviting you if if if, if you are not oh on a weight gosh. loss journey. Oh my gosh. And now you are and they're like we can't eat freely around you. It's like drinking. Yes. So now you you they are wondering how do we socialize with you and you don't eat deep fried stuff anymore. So we are not going to be a machoma giant. Yeah. Stephanie, wait, wait, wait. So you change how you eat at home. You change how you eat outside. You change the quality and the quantity of your food. 
you change how you prepare it. So even the, the person who is your housekeeper or your yes, you have a chef, right? They change ex everything and about how they cook. Yes, now. yeah, because you're making Absolutely. a lifestyle change. Yes, yeah, and then um, you also change how much you move. Yes, and how much you move affects how much you socialize and how much you how much time you allow for other things because you must find time out of your life for movement. I know I get I get when people I totally get it when clients tell me I don't have time because their day is very structured and it's been yeah. like that for years. Yes. So it's wake up, get ready, go to work, take the children to school. Exactly. <laughs> drop the children, go to work. Yeah. Pick the children, drop them at home, right. get ready, go yes. for a night thing, come home, bond with my spouse and then nap. Where am I finding time to move? So I must shift someone. Is it something. the bo is it the bonding with my spouse part? Exactly. Hey! Ah! So now suddenly, especially in marriages, you find somebody's like, uh, this gym thing, I don't think it can work for us. Because it the time is interfering. Yes, it is interfering with the time that that person could just call you and like, kids have slept, let's go let's for a go drink. And you're like, I need to sleep um, because I'm going to the gym at five. And so, sleeping more, you sleep more. Yes, you need to. when you when you make that healthy change, you sleep more. Yes, and you should sleep more. If you're on a weight loss journey and you're not you sleeping should. enough, watch out to now. Forget your chapter. Forget about it. <laughs> it will be a waste of time. So you now you have to sleep more. If you are somebody for catching up, do you know how many couples watch movies after kids have slept? Now you can't. You are you are the couples. <laughs> we are the couples. You are couples. Granted, I never go past fifteen minutes. Yeah. But me too. Ah, me too. And my husband is like you're an infant. Yes, you can never watch. So a now movie. you don't even want because of the way your mind is focused on what you want to achieve. You don't even have that 15 minutes. You're like both deuces and where the movie tell me how it tell was me how morning. it was. That has an impact on your relationship. Yes, so you have yes. to carve out time for movement. Mm -hmm. Ah yeah, you also now have to carve out time for the things that you allow in your life because mm -hmm. stress is a big contributor mm -hmm. to weight gain. Weight gain. So if you want to lose weight, you must manage stress. We know stress comes from things, people, air, situations, situations, relationships. Yeah. So you start dropping toxic people. Kit, you've changed. Eh, yeah, you didn't change. You just got very focused on your priorities. And you also, you talked about boundaries. Yes. Boundaries are some of the things you must create in a wellness journey or a fitness journey. Whether yeah. you like it or not, because there's a controlled environment for success to happen. If it is too open-ended, things will not work. You can't now be meeting your friends for drinks every weekend and you're on a weight loss journey. I'm sorry, no, you it can't, can't happen. So in as much as you know... That, is, you that guys, is a diet. Yes, that you is guys, an Exactly. Thing. Yeah. So you guys used to talk about how it's a thing you do. You guys, girls night, you meet every weekend yes. for drinks. Yes. Now you're on this journey and guys are like, she's become so antisocial. Yes, and after you this, drink, you know you go to McFries or whatever it is, the chicken, yeah. pizza, because you need it for yes, not getting hungover or whatever exactly. it is. So guys are like, oh, you've become, you know, those French words that they use over there, French. Yeah. <laughs> they are now calling you names because what is this lifestyle, Janice? And then people are, guy. <laughs> ah, just guys say, are like, just say, just say. Who do you think you are? Yeah, this weight loss journey is going to affect all of us. Sis, bye. No. And you're out of their life. They start keeping you out of things. And then there are people who won't approve of it. Even your family. I mean, they knew you to be this woman who... The calves are all in, in, in all the right places. And if you come from a family that... Families look a certain way. That's why you're, you're, you're messing with the brand. You're messing with the brand. You're not on brand anymore. We are not that small in our family. Oh, we are not that big. You're gaining weight. What are those muscles for? Who are you trying to show? And that's how it comes out in their head. And that's what they it, think. It triggers. It, I mean, people relate with you. Yes. With their own perceptions, their triggers, their traumas. Yeah. And do you know why they are getting triggered? Because you couldn't, and you don't need to, explain the, the basis of why you're doing this thing. If you had a meeting, a family meeting, Let's let's put I mean, best if, case if, scenario. If, if every single time you had to do something, you had to explain it to people and exactly. they accept, they who know. would do anything? Nobody. And the process, the, the, the red tape in the family, that, that would be the red tape that would make us never achieve anything. If nobody would ever do anything. Nobody would have so a baby. Only nobody the, would. The, the ideal situation would have been, you let guys know, you know, because of my health. Okay. I have I, to now. I need to lose weight. Then people would be 
a bit more supportive, but that's not realistic. That's and it's not, not possible. possible. And in any case, your health is your business. So take time. You, your health. I, you know what? I keep saying this. I have to live in this body. Yes. Nobody else is living here. And if you it's are me. limited and healthy, those same people asking you, who do you think you are, would be like, what have you been eating? However, we 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 didn't want to be here. We are socialized this way, okay? Because we have grown up seeing women looking a certain way. Yes, especially women who have children. Yeah, women yeah, who are married. Yes, because when you get married and then you start looking hotter than you are when you are single, yes. guys are like, hey. Yeah. One time, so one time, um, who did you people, marry? People on social media told me to dress my age. Yes, and I was like, how do thirty-seven years? We are thirty-seven. How do thirty-seven years old they dress? Dress the way they I don't, want. I, I don't understand. Yeah. What, like, huh? I said, I said it uh, on on the Instagram. Mm. That I, mm. I added weight postpartum my first baby, mm. and one auntie said, now you look like a woman. That the before that I was just this a young maybe kajama who was uh, jumping jumping i used to do kazi ya kuruka ruka <laughs> that's what people call fitness bado una ruka ruka huko westlands somebody even asked me what exactly do you do i'm like i train people like like no no like really like like like, like for real like for real what, what do you job do you have like i train people like all day every day they were so flawed i had been in the industry for over five years already and then the fitness industry is driven by women. 70 to 90 percent of our clients Clientele. are women, and especially women who've had children. Yeah. Because now they have a new body they don't recognize. Yeah. And yeah, are not very comfortable in for many of us. Yes. And we want to do something about it. Yeah. And women are happy to be handheld, so they yeah. bring themselves to the gym. Mm. It, and, and even the reason why we're not comfortable in it, truth be said, is because of what we hear on. On exactly. the media, on the social, on the TikTok. Exactly. Other than that, we could be fine. Yes, we could. We could be fine. But and if we were taught how to focus on health, yeah, we would all be pushing each other to lose some weight. Yeah. And encouraging somebody, let's go for a walk. Yes. Or instead of having drinks, let's go bowling. Yeah. We would be on we that would band be wagon, on all that. of us. Yeah. But we are not. We haven't we are not. been taught that no. yet. No. We are just looks. Yeah. It's skin deep. And, 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 and if how you look does not impress me, yeah. um, maybe you need to do something about it. And we've seen, I've seen many clients drop off programs because now it's too much to handle. Let's yeah, talk, like, let me let's just talk go about back that. Let's to, talk about that. Yes. So you've lost the weight because of health reasons. You've hired Steph. Uh, you're paying her through the nose because that's what you think I, 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 I charge. <laughs> I'm affordable. You're, you're, you're very affordable. I'm very affordable. You're very affordable. And I... I am focused on the coaching process more than the financial gain. Mm. So when clients are getting results, that for me, I have done my part. So as a trainer, I've always been a little bit bigger than what people expect. Oh yeah, no like. yeah, we want you to be very slim with a six pack. Six pack, and then and like I'm always a I'm always training you in uh, very tight tight shorts and a, and a sports bra and a sports bra. Catch me there. So when they when it comes to you, you've put on weight. Even the putting on of weight yeah. for women, mm. because it happens as we get older, our mm. hormones are changing. Yeah. Our metabolism is adapting to yeah. our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. It's not slowing down. It is adapting to your lifestyle. So if you employ an active lifestyle, because your metabolism improves. Stephanie, age. can I just say one thing I love about how you talk about health? Yeah. It is you remove the degrading connotation yes metabolism is slowing down yeah age is showing hey. age is showing mm -mm. everything is adaptable and the human yeah. body if i moved you to a sports <coughs> camp today <coughs> I, and pay you a million dollars <laughs> in a few months you'll have a six pack yes because of that motivation absolutely so you'll adapt so your metabolism Absolutely. adapts to your lifestyle. So if as you're getting older, you're getting less active, that's what is happening to your yes. metabolism. Yes. If you're getting older and you're becoming more active, mm. that's what happens to your metabolism. Metabolism. Yeah. So as we age or as we get, and even as we rise, I told somebody yesterday, mm. as we go up the economic ladder. Oh, okay, okay. We have more conveniences and choices. Money gives us choices. 
So now I don't need to go to the kiosk to buy two mangoes. I don't need to walk. No. I, order I just it. get on my phone. On my app. And go to the apps. We know them. As I sit in my lazy boy. And I, yes. And I order my well hung butcher dry aged steak. And it comes to my doorstep with a rider in 25 minutes. I can afford it now. And then I fly to the coast. Because SGR nani sisi to the talk SGR. Kama nani? Kama nani? No way. I cannot do it. Or ah! you go for these meetups and <laughs> people are asking you, are you driving? The first time I was asked that question, I was slow key offended. I was like, how? Uh, what do you mean? I was driven. I came in the taxi. I was driven. So as we rise up the economic ladder, yes. we adapt our lifestyles to that because yes. that's what is expected of us. I mean, you walk less because now who are those seeing you randomly walking in the estate? You don't need to walk. You're this big corporate person. All these big influencers should not be in a supermarket. <laughs> what are you doing buying two tissues? Two. You can't afford like the, the 40 pack. The oh, 40, not even 10. <laughs> Me, I was like 10 pack. No, oh, the 40, pack. 40 pack of the seven ply tissue. Seven ply. Yes. So as we rise up the economic ladder, our lifestyle changes. And so those are things that come in play and they come so gradually and easily. We also work for them. The economic status we work for. Obviously. Obviously. But now it comes with this body. You know, like when you I, I observe people in the corporate world because of the sitting yes, yes, down okay. um, behind a desk for hours on yes. end. And I know it might sound funny to me, but uh. it's, it's something that we need to be uh, mm. aware of and maybe do something about. When somebody is new, you can tell they're new in the company. They're not as round as the rest. So these are things we work for, but we don't realize that they have an impact on our health. Yeah. Then now you've realized, okay, as you rise the, uh, uh, on the corporate ladder, for yes. example, yeah. you start to mingle with people who go to the gym at 4 a.m. Ha, well, Ninani, 2023, you must lose weight for your image at work. So you lose the weight. Man, we are unhealthy. Yes. And the motives are where it's at. If we worked on the motives, we can change it. So you lose the weight, and then suddenly, guys are like, uh, hey, who is this? What's going on with your life? I miss Mama, what wedding are you preparing for? Some stranger told me she misses my ass, my ties and ass. Because they did what? <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry? You mm -hmm. as why? You as who? Why do you miss my body parts? Yeah. Why? I really like how you look. We've also, you know, we've sensationalized people's <sighs> bodies and people's weight and people's image to the level that you make it personal and it's not. It's not yours. That's theirs. So you lose the weight and I have many, I've, I've, I've talked to many people. They may be, some of them are my clients, some are not, who have lost the weight and then now suddenly it's too much to deal with. The comments, the fact that you're looking different. Your skin will look different. Before it gets better, it will, they say it gets worse before it gets better. And what's the easiest thing to do? Let's return to factory settings. Uh, because of all the backlash. Yes. The pressure is intense. The and it's pressure. And it starts it starts even with our our housekeepers. Yeah. Where she'll be like, Hey, Mama Umekwanda wakatua Christmas. Yeah. She said that statement with the no ill intention. Best. Yeah. No ill intention, no pun intended, no, nothing, no hate. She was just being blatant and honest. And honest. But how you receive it? And because it's not that one statement. Yeah. It is one, this is the 638th yeah. thousandth. Yeah. <laughs> 934th statement. Yes. It's the first one from her. Yeah. But now you're just like, I can't do it. Yeah. I'm just going to go back. So you'd rather add, uh, say you took a break from the gym and then, and then give some reasons as to, oh, I became busy. I can't work out anymore. Oh, and, so, and you're doing it subconsciously, yeah? Yes. It's subconscious. You're just like, let me go back way, to com my comfort zone. Just the same way we say we can't afford something, it's the same way we say we can't train because you're not able to explain why you don't want to train anymore. Because even you don't know. No. And without a coach to tell you that this is the reason, you pinpoint the reason as to why you're falling off the, the wagon. Why were we in a rush? Let me, let me talk about this thing of Utambia Nini Watu. <laughs> which I talked about over Christmas. I was so busy in December. I had new clients in November and December and I was about to take a break from work because mm -hmm. my relatives were around. Yes. But I had bookings upon bookings upon bookings. Yes. I have, I'm handling some this week. Mm. In the mm. 
second, second week third of, week. of January. Because there was this sudden rush to exercise and try and lose some weight. Some weight for Christmas. For Christmas. So that your relatives are like, oh, yeah, by the way, you actually achieved your resolution. Because you had told them that this year is the year you lose weight. Why are you shouting at people? I'm not shouting. I'm just speaking it because you're not able to say it. So there was a big rush. So you do something crazy and drastic towards Christmas. Yes. And then in January, what is our default response? I don't have money. To train let's talk in feb yes but it's very easy to just go back yes. to what you know yeah what's comfortable yes. what works for you and others we have uh, um shareholders and i talked about five of them mm. shareholders in your fitness journey yes the first one is you mm -hmm. and that's the biggest one that's the the majority shareholder is you okay so 51 percent yes the, so there's what you know of yourself when yes. you are the weight that you are trying to change. Yes. There's what you feel yeah. in that weight. Mm -hmm. There's the capabilities you have and those that you don't. Yes. And so you have to now put all that down. Yes. And then deal with it one at a time. Okay. This is how I feel. If you feel bad, then that's why you make a change. Yeah. This is how I like myself. Yeah. I don't like this part. I like this part. Yeah. So you try and start working on it. Yes. These are my capabilities. I'm struggling to play with my children. So fitness would really help me. I was really struggling to play with my children. Exactly. Yeah. But my spouse really likes these calves. Mm. So. Mm-hmm. That part. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I, I, I need to, and that's where women come to me and they're like, Steph, hi. Yes. I want to lose weight. But yes. Here and here. But don't touch here. Yeah. Don't touch. Hey, don't touch here, don't touch here. Yes, this, uh, this is fat, this is a muscle. <laughs> the ones I am touching, we are touching those, and these are the ones that change fast. So when, when you start to look like the bust is going down, so ah, my, my bust went down an entire cup size and two band sizes. Yeah, so somebody starts to ask you, so you think, what will my friends talk about? Mm. Like your spouse will tell you, what do you mm. think my friends are going to say about that? Mm. Mm -hmm. or, they, or suddenly you just or their friend actually want... says something about it yes in front of them to you in front of your spouse and your spouse agrees and yes. you're like exactly and so you're now in this unsafe, yeah. unsafe place so you're the first shareholder and you have to deal with all that yeah then the second person is that person we're talking about that significant other mm -hmm. girlfriend boyfriend Naskia, those ones are also invested today i'm like hey, our generation it was not like that yeah. that when significant being... other had a physical attraction towards you yes. and a preference. That's why they quote unquote, I don't want to use that one, but they picked you, picked you. Yes. Out of out of the others the crowd who, who had different shapes and sizes and colours. So now you have this new shape, new size, they're like, who is this? So how do I hold? I mean it sounds shallow, but it's not. It is not shallow. And that person it does not sounds do it. shallow. That person does not do it intentionally. No. They they, they they are very supportive. In fact, they'll finance that whole project. Yes. I have so many men in my DM. They're uh, not hitting on me. No. They want me to train their wives. Yes. But the thing I always say is, please let me talk to her. Yeah. Does she want this? Yes. Because if she's training so that you feel nice about her, her then she'll restore factory settings. Maybe therapy is what you need, not the gym, eh? Yes. So there's that significant other. The third one is your family, your nuclear family. To start with yes your spouse and your children yes and then we go to your parents if you are married your yeah. parents in law yes your siblings yeah your spouse's siblings yes and then your cousins your aunties, aunties your uncles Quanza your aunties when's a grandmother hey my grandmother during christmas yeah yeah I mean, me, I've taught her, I've taught everybody in my family, yes. there's a certain way that you talk to me. Yes. So the way that they were talking to me was very respectful, but it was still a comment on my body. Yes. And especially if somebody hasn't seen you for long. Mm. I, I talked about that mm. yesterday. Mm. So it's if, a if shock. I hadn't, I have, if, if, if it's your significant other, they've yeah. seen you through the process. Yes. Of course, there's a date hits them that oh yeah, Wait. is very drastic. But a relative who you don't, those relatives you see only on weddings and funerals. Then suddenly you're looking pain and small. Yeah. And they're like, what is going on in your life? Mm. Are you okay? Mm. Then we have friends. The ones you think are in your corner the most. The ones who you guys have been talking about. Aki 2023. We're gonna get snatched. Yeah. We will snatch it. You guys are leaking <laughs> up for walks. You'll be for bowling. Mumeanza hiking. Eh? You guys are buying gym wear. Who's, who's traveling? 
So you can buy us Jima so we are now tagging on each other. Bye. But Jima. now when we get to the actual act of working the work and the work, there are those You you're doing me I'm me I'm talking supporting. Mm. I'm being, about mine, I'm being mine in spirit. I'm giving you reasons. Aki, Aki, you just go, go, go. Aki, at least you have started. Keep up the Aki, you're motivating You're us. motivating us, yes. Because that motivation is uh, limited. There's a time it will get to... Where? And the motivation is like, now it's triggering me. It's triggering me. That's too much pressure. Now it's triggering me. We had That's set a goal, pressure. you've left me behind. It's like when you move up. You know, you, you change your car and your yes. friend had planned to change their car yes. and they get very offended as to why you very, did it for them. Very. And why didn't you tell me you were going? Yeah. Okay, I don't even like that color. You should have called me to ah. you choose. So even ah. that body, they're like, I thought we were doing this thing together. You need to now realize you somehow offended them. Yes, you have triggered them. And you will trigger people who want the thing that you are achieving. And the last group is followers, strangers. You and I have big followings on Instagram, so uh, these people feel like they and are part too. of our, you know, our, our, talking to us. They are part of our, our edges. They are, so share, they they are shareholders. Yes. Because so, they look at us every day. Yes. <laughs> and we also write on their comments. Yes. Whether we like it or not. Yes. When they approve of our content. Yes. And uh, our, our impact. Yeah. We love it. Mm. When they're not happy. We, we hate it. We hate it and mm. we get shocked mm. because we are human. Mm. But they are invested. Yes. Quote, Absolutely. Number therapy. one, therapy. you <laughs> we can start with that. You can get therapy or get help, support. Yeah, get some support. sort of support. Yeah, or coaching. Coaching therapy, some sort of support. And you that offer that co type of coaching, yes. right? You are an all-round coach. Yes. Yeah. So one of the things I do with my clients is I take a very serious coaching approach, especially for nutrition mm. and the emotional part of fitness. Mm. Mm. Because when you start blue ticking me about your mm. session, mm. it is not about the session. No, it's not. It's so not. the number of times I have found clients in their house. Yes. And they're not even dressed for the workout. And yeah. I'm like, it's okay. Let's have some coffee and talk. Yeah. Let's talk. Let's talk what's going on. Yeah. And people are going through it in life. Mm -hmm. Number two, change your view on weight, your image, and your esteem. Mm -hmm. If you have always felt confident because of your calves mm -hmm. and your hips and how you look, you'll have to change that. Yeah, but the thing is, Stephanie, you don't it. know that you've always felt confident because of your calves and your hips and your... Well, yeah. You don't know that until no. you're on the other side. You don't. That's what happened with me. I didn't know that's what was, that's what was giving me such, you know, body confidence. Yeah. Is was the body, and even I thought it was carried, me. How you carried, carried that clothes? Body. Yeah, how you, you know carried that body because you wore certain things and they looked a certain. Yeah, way. and you have to start a journey of self love and yes. self appreciation. Yes, there's a podcast I listened to, and that uh, lady talks about meticulous self care mm. Mm. and deep self love. Not just loving yourself at you. I like my hair. Uh -uh. Mm -mm. Fall in love with the person that you are. And the person that you're becoming because you are changing human beings don't stay the same no but suddenly when it's fitness we want to stay the we same always... yet we don't want our bank accounts to stay the same of course not. we are busy working blood sweat and tears for i that can't money i to can't change. wait to be rich enough to exactly. say money is not everything so you are losing weight because yes. you feel a certain way yes and you want to get to a certain place where you'll feel different yes you need to change what that in between looks like yes if you are a person who's labeling food mm -hmm. good food bad mm -hmm. food mm -hmm. that will have to change yes because now you'll suddenly become this social misfit yeah who labels everything at functions and judges people their food has been cooked without does it have record mm -hmm. do you have uh salmon be, don't olive be that oil? that guy mm -hmm. don't, don't be, be that person. guy so be change. very clear about your reality if you're doing this for health purposes you need to have laser focus and most focus. of us most of us are doing it for health reasons yeah because we can be healthier we can we can we have the capability we have the tools but we are not very sure exactly why we are doing it only when the doctor tells you man you're gonna die that's when you're like it's a jolt to and the you're system. like hi Steph the doctor told me to talk to you hey how many people have been sent to me by my uh, friends who are doctors by physiotherapists wow. they are told I'll give you a number and they think it's some other doctor no it is Stephanie the coach it is Stephanie the coach yeah. and then know why you're doing this Get a trainer who can take you through. Even a consultation only yeah. will get you to a point of knowing why. why. 
because if you are doing this for your wedding mm. and that is it mm. that's a good idea mm. focus on that don't mm. ask for other things and be confident in that way that's a very valid reason if it it does, do, it does, do it if it is getting better for playing with your children do it if it is getting better because uh, there are some health markers that are not on point and by next year you want to uh, feel better about that do it if you're training like when the first time we talked with you you were yeah. training for a triathlon mm. if you remember that oh what that was such a long time ago that is when that is the time when we talked and I told you, can I help you prepare for the triathlon? Oh my goodness. That was our first interaction. Wow. Because I was like, I was so excited about you doing that. And yeah. you talked about how many people don't do it. And then, unfortunately, COVID hit. COVID. But those triathlons are back. So you yes. can revive them back now. Yes, yes. Last year. Because you know, they never, they never refunded us. Last and year. I kept asking them, are we still going to do this triathlon one day? Last year, we had some that came back. So if you want to do that so if you're training to climb mount kenya go ahead do it mm. but just be very clear on what your why is so that you're not doing it and you'll not be swayed by people's comments because when you start losing for your husband and they're like i don't like it anymore, yeah you need to stop so now you stop no be very clear on what your why is you must take it one day one meal one workout one sleep at a time that sounds like a cliche i know you understand yeah for me the highest achievement of a client is showing up to the workout once they get there if they went all through and and they didn't want this thing I, i'm happy to do 30 minutes because they came yeah i'm happy to talk and walk because they're stressed but i'm so happy they came yeah so yeah. show up master the art of showing up to your next meal yeah and making that next meal fantastic. yeah yeah and then one time somebody said, I read it on Instagram. Yeah. If your a healthy um, lifestyle looks doesn't look like salad, 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 salad. Yes. It looks like salad, salad, salad chips, salad, 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 salad ice cream, salad, 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 salad cookies. Yeah. So it, it like healthy meal, healthy meal, healthy meal. Yeah. I have so many people Pizza. who ask me what 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 do you think about eating cake? I'm like, cake is fantastic. What do you mean? What do you think about eating Part cake? Part of life. I, I, I baked my way through fitness school. I had a baking business and I used to bake and sell and then go uh, to school and, and I used that money to finance my fitness school. Mm. So cake is fantastic yeah. and cake is part of life. We eat cakes to celebrate. You can't tell me you're going to eat ugali for your child's birthday. No. Yeah. They shall never forget that birthday. I normally advise people to allocate a dessert portion oh, yes. of cake. Yeah. So if you want to have cake today, please go buy the cake. Don't buy a full cake. You yeah. don't need a full cake. It's not yeah. a birthday party. Yeah. Just buy one slice, come home with it, serve your food, and then serve the dessert, the portion that you see in hotels yes. during a buffet. Yeah. That the, the that cut small pieces. Piece. Put it on a side plate. Sit down with it. Yeah. Eat your food and finish, mm. and then eat the dessert. Mm. You'll have uh, satisfied that craving, yeah. but you won't have overindulged. Mm. Because mm. when you go full. Mm. Denial, cold turkey. Ah, it will just you will eat suffer. A whole the day you will meet cake. cake, you will meet cake, and it will meet you. Wait. So make your next meal better. Okay. If you didn't do well this one, just next. Cut yourself some slack. Yeah. Be kind and compassionate to yourself. Yeah. Because one meal is not going to make you unhealthy. No. Just like one meal is not going to make you healthy. Yes. And then empower yourself with knowledge. Please, ignorance is not bliss. <sighs> This thing of saying I don't know how to lose weight or I've done in everything. My, yeah, my you? friend, you have not done everything. Have you done everything? Yeah. <laughs> so empower yourself with knowledge mm. on what your health looks like. Um, uh, what What is the ideal weight for your height? Yes. What is mm. um, What is your emotional state? If you're getting into a weight loss journey because it's a comeback, for your ex revenge body exactly you will crash because one day it will hit you that you and really, ban you really loved this person <laughs> and now the body is not worth it the body is not bringing them back so you have to be <sighs> so and you're not running into them to show them the no ah, you're actually avoiding you're trying to avoid them as much as possible because you don't want to you know they uh, Mm, uh, mm, absent mm, snakes. Mm, 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 so you mm. come back and you see this ex and like this guy was this fine and you <laughs> don't remember him being this fine. It's just because you've not seen him for a few months. So empower yourself with knowledge. 
it helps you deal with what is coming in this journey yeah and the last thing is go through the journey there's no way around it there's no way over it under it <laughs> the only way is through it thank you for that yeah uh, me personally i have learned some new things some new terminologies yeah that i'll be going out there to use i hope you guys have enjoyed i hope you've learned something please share with us in the comment section yeah um your journey if you're happy to share it or message us dm us on instagram i'll put our instagrams here and just let's chat let's talk about this thing because we really 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 need to get ahead of it i think we've just been hiding yeah um and a lot of people don't talk about it it's something we really need to bring to the fore foreground yes yeah so yeah. i really hope you've enjoyed and until next time